Hi, my name is John. Today we are looking into the unpacking and the operation, including the breaking of Makita air compressor MAC 5200 model MAC 5200 Makita. I just bought it from uh, Home Depot the other day. I had a default. I bought it from Home Depot that was uh, of lesser uh, capacity. I wanted to do some painting and other jobs other than uh, what I am doing. So the other compressor was not able to give enough uh, CFM. This is going to be 3 HP 5.2 gallon air compressor. It is going to have around uh, 6.5 CFM at 90 psi so rpm is 3420-3420 and uh, the maximum horsepower they say is 3 horsepower the tank size is 5.2 gallon and 6.5 cf firm ok let me open it and see Just cut the tape off. So, unpacking basically doing. I'm going to do the unpacking, throwing the cartons. The packing materials. They gave us uh, compressor oil, it comes with that instruction in the manual and compressor oil. Cut it open. It comes with owner manual for oil lubricated air compressor. This is oil lubricated in English, Spanish and other registration papers for warm registration. This is a compressor oil. Comes with that. It's, it's handy so that you don't have to buy immediately. You can run, uh, put this in the compressor before you break in the compressor. Nicely packed and uh, wow. it's 80 pounds they said. I'll take it on and see. Eighty pounds, it's heavy man. It's eighty pounds. I like the color. I have other Makita tools. The drill. It's very handy. It's a folding handle. You can fold it for uh, storage. It's very easy to move around, though it's a little bit heavy, you can move around in the job site. Uh, the problem I had with uh, DeWalt is that they had the wheels though, but it was very difficult for me to move around or uh, climb the steps at the job site. And this was a then the storage for the small accessories on top of it. 
comes with uh, two pressure gauges one for the tank, one for the outlet and you can adjust the pressure with the regulator there so I am going to put the oil this is the tank for the oil I don't think they fill it up but there is a small eye here you can see that this is the glass I am talking about this area this one you can see the oil level so I am going to pour the oil that they gave so I paid around uh, 559 the price at the store was in Home Depot they didn't have it, in Lowe's they didn't have it, finally I had to go to Rona, they had it for uh, $4.99 and I think the price was $4.59 in uh, another hardware store, so I got the price match, I paid only $4.59, it's a good price, the other uh, devolved compressor I had, for lesser capacity, I paid uh, $4.99. $350, I think. Maybe. Yeah, $350. This is $359. Correct. Just pouring the oil. It has to be just above the red dot, I believe. Yeah, I think it's uh, to pour almost uh, all the oil which came with us. They get a compass oil P68. That's what is written here. I don't know the quantity, I don't know how much they gave, but that is sufficient. They gave a warning also, like there's a tag, they say it's uh, filled with the oil before starting. I hope you can see that. Before you break in, you have to make sure that you have it filled with the oil which they supply. I think any compressor oil will work. Let it tight it nicely before I start. One thing I don't like is the wheel. It's not that uh, you can see it's uh, when it's, uh, it's kind of wobbly. Yeah, both are kind of wobbly. I don't like that. Hope it will stay where it is now. One more tag is given on the electrical cord. Warning: fill with oil before starting. So it's a good thing. People sometimes forget. Sometimes take it for granted. Okay. in off position I think I have run it for uh, maybe half an hour uh, most of the compressors they say 20 minutes you have to run it 
I'm going to run it for uh, half an hour. So there's a switch here. Hopefully you can see that this is the on off switch. The power is connected, oil is there and I'm going to put it on. Before that, I believe I have to, there is a switch here to empty the pressure down. I think you yeah, have better, better idea to open it. And then uh, one more thing, it's a good idea to have a connector connected so that the air also if any anything comes it will escape through that so let me start it this is a switch and then turn it on <laughs> 